Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. And tonight, today, today, <laughs> today's live video broadcast, we're going to do some experiments in art. I want to see if I can make something um, akin to um, a color shift paint. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. So, um, first, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, first we're going to, the pouring medium that I'm going to use is, I'm going to use um, the pouring medium for the bloom pours, and you can get that exact recipe by going to Johnny at JMO Paintings um, video. <laughs> It's in the, in the description box below, you know, down in that general vicinity. So um, to get the exact ratios, because I couldn't find my notes and it's just been one of those days. So I'm going to use this like a regular pouring medium because I've used other um, paints and pouring mediums to do things with. So I figured this will be just about the same. So, because I've used um, just basic base paint and I've used polyacrylic and this is just a blend of polyacrylic and base paint. So, I think it's three to one. I'm not, I don't remember. <clears throat> but I can't find my notebook that I have all my notes in. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe the cat ate it. <laughs> so, I'm going to put um, one ounce of this. And a half ounce of, I've got the quinacridone red orange. We're going to use a half ounce of this. And this is a transparent color. You can see there, maybe, maybe it'll focus. But it says transparent. <laughs> it's got the empty box. So I think this will work best with a, I don't want to use an opaque or a semi-opaque or semi-translucent. I want to use a translucent. I might actually just go to a quarter of an ounce of paint. And then we'll dilute it from there. Because we're going to have a lot of color from the things that I got going on and going to be going in, the, the mica powders and stuff. But this is what I'm going to be using. It's transparent. It was the first transparent I ran across. just happens to be red. So, And then I've got um, eye candy 24 karat gold, um, 24 karat nugget gold. That doesn't even sound right, but it's right. <laughs> and then... I have these open before I even started anything. And then I have the Baku Red. And those are both eye candies. And then I have the Interference Blue, Interference Purple, and Interference Red, all from Illumina Dust. I got these from Stone Coat Counter Cup. And we're going to put a little bit of every, we're going to kind of do a, a hodgepodge of things um, to equal. I think this is a quarter teaspoon. So we're gonna do two quarters. So we'll see how this goes. So let's see who is in chat. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Doris. Hello, Jay. And thank you, Doris. Yes, smash that like button, y'all. Eye candy customs. I have a lot of them to use up, and not that I have to use them up, but I just have a lot of different colors and a lot of different ideas, and this is the best way for me to, oh, please, my scale is, like, slowly dying. It's dying a slow death. I might have to just put new batteries in it. I'm going to try that and make sure it's not my scale. Okay, so we're going to go one ounce. Oh, Ray, Ray is having a cow. I might have to, yeah, I'm going to change the batteries just to make sure. Okay. It's a little over an ounce. That's okay. Okay. And then we're going to squeeze a little bit of this in there. Mm -mm -mm. Come on. 
Heavy body paints are the bane of my existence sometimes. There we go. That should be one point. So we have a total of 1.5, maybe. Come on. Well, I know why Ray is having a cow is because I've been quiet all morning and then all of a sudden I start talking. Okay. So she's thinking that she's missing out on something. There's 1.5. So that's about a quarter of an ounce of paint. We're going to mix those two together. So I'm just mixing these two together and making sure to scrape the sides and the bottom. this red and I'm using the spoon so I can kind of get an idea like I know this is about a half a, a quarter I think this is a quarter teaspoon I don't know you can tell the the print kind of came off that's why I don't buy I buy the ones that have like are either metal and have it etched in or the plastic ones that have like the raised lettering so got about eighth of a teaspoon there which is plenty I think, because this one isn't a metallic. Well, it's got a little bit of a metallic to it. It's got like a blue tone to it. So let me grab another paper towel here so we can wipe the end of the stick off. <gasps> Hello, Lee. Just wanted to say hi. Hope all is well. Take care and have, stay safe. And st Aw, thank you, Lee. You're the awesomest. Hello, Mike. Good to see you. How's the weather in Florida? Okay, we're going to take this 14 karat gold nugget color and we put it in with the red. Well, this is kind of more of a glitter than a... Okay, that works. It works. We're going to put, put it in there anyway. Because if this works... I'm going to try, I've got some dollar store loose eyeshadow and I can't find my T-pin so I can get the thing off of there. Okay, and then we're going to take, I want to use a lot of that. So we're going to take and put really... All right, now that we're getting it all over the place. Okay, so there is about a quarter teaspoon. Okay, Let me dump that in there. And then this is the blue, put the blue in with the red and the gold glitter. Then we're going to put one of this purple. No, not one the whole scoop, but well, golly jeepers. There we go. That's about what I want. Right there. See, I put the paper towel down because I know I'm messy and I know this stuff gets everywhere. <laughs> Hello, Elisa. Goodbye, Elisa. <laughs> Hello, Cynthia. Okay, this is the interference red. This is the one I wanted the most of. So there's about. There we go. Looks good to me. Okay. 
Move that out of the way. The thing about making your own paint is try and get your measurements as close as you can so you're not just guesstimating. I'm going to take this and we're going to shake it off. Whoa, we're going to try and shake it off in there. Don't waste any of it. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> we'll give this a stir. Woo! Okay, well, we got a lot of glitter on the stick. <laughs> okay, so that should be enough. We're going to put a little bit of Floetrol in here to make it not so thick. Okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Let's see. Let's put some Floetrol in there and see if we can see. See what we can see. Get the stick out of here. Put the lid on it. stick for this guy make sure there's no little globbers okay so um i'm gonna start with three ounces Oh, geez. Those are the kind of thunderstorms I like, though, Clara. Oh, yeah, there's a shift to it. I, see, and the problem is, is I got blue lights in the house, too. So hang on, we're going to shift this light down. Bring the light on. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah, you can see the gold in there. You can see all the different colors in there, the red. Yeah, that's going to be cool, I hope. We're going to do one last good scrape. Check for consistency. Yep, we're at about a three. So we're going to use our homemade red. <clears throat> I'm going to use Doxy Purple. Ta-da! And then um, we're going to use this cadmium red deep because this is an opaque. So if we put that by this, maybe it'll help it pop out a little bit more. I don't know. Um, I think dioxazine purple is uh, uh, opaque. And I'm not sure about this one either. But this is the um, ultramarine blue. And then this is permanent black. And I'm going to use just a smidge of white. We're going to do some flip cups. Get this out of my way. The re the recipe for the red. Um, so basically, I used one ounce of the Bloom Pour medium um, from Johnny's video, and then I used a quarter ounce of translucent paint. Which what did I do with it? There it is. That <laughs> this particular one was the uh, heavy body acrylic in the quinacridone red orange because it is a transparent i'm thinking you have to you're going to want to use a transparent because if you use an opaque it's going to hide all the all the glitter and mica and whatever else you put in there but you want to have a base color so it'll help it pop out i don't know that was my this is my theory i i haven't done this part i've done it in just like regular like flow troll or whatever but I've never done it with a color. So that's kind of more what I'm experimenting with. And then um, I have, this is, I, I believe is a quarter teaspoon. So about a half a teaspoon. Maybe this is an eighth of a teaspoon because that looks awfully small. No, that's about, that's about a quarter. Um, so about half a teaspoon 
of different mica powders and there's some gold glitter because I didn't realize that this 24 this 14 nugget gold is actually more of a glitter than than a mica which is fine I don't have a problem I've never used it before this is the first time I've used it so oh I love that is my fa that was my favorite thing to do when I lived in Colorado was sit and watch the storms roll in Okay, so we're going to do some flip cups because I only have an 8x10 canvas ready. What did I do with my 8x10 canvas? Oh, there it is. It's hanging out on the back table. But yeah, that's... You're welcome, Cheryl. So we'll see how this, what happens with this. And we're going to just use Dixie cups because I'm tired of doing dishes. <laughs> um... Let's do, let's do four. I think four should be good. Three might even be enough. Yeah, let's do three. Okay, so let me put the red in first. So that's on top. You know what? Instead of using this white, I think I'm going to grab my titanium white. Yep. And I'm not going to put the white next to the red because I don't want... Stay where I put you. There we go. So let's put... Let's put a little bit of red in. Put a little bit of red in these two. Then we'll put blue. Ray is in there playing with stuff. Okay. And we'll put red. Whoops, that was a lot of red. Let's put a little bit more blue in this one then. I'm shaking. I've had three cups of coffee today. And I was actually a good girl and remembered to take my vitamins. But jeez. Okay, so we're going to put the black in this middle one. And then we're going to put the white on the blue. We were ha we've been having a storm last night. Here's some titanium white. Okay, I want to keep some of the white. Hey, that's enough now. Hey, I need to mix some more up. Got plenty of titanium white. I just haven't gotten that far. Okay, so let's do purple in all of these. And then we'll do black and white. Actually, we'll do the red. This custom red. We'll do purple. And then we're going to do this red. Got to stir first. It's been raining all weekend, which is cool because it's kind of fun that way. So I need to put black in here. And I'm just going to finish this cup off with this. And we're going to put black in these two. Because I don't want too much white in this painting. I just want it more as a contrast. There we go. Now what do I do with all the lids? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to wipe that off this. 
I'm going to wipe it off with a towel because I've got glitter all over my hands. It's okay. No one's going to see me till tomorrow anyway. Okay, so I'm going to put that. Do I have any more of this ultramarine blue? I think I do. I have to mix some more. I had a migraine all day yesterday. Well, not all day, but a good chunk of the day yesterday from about 4 o'clock on, only 2 o'clock on, something like that. So I went hibernating and I kind of spoiled the cat. Um. If you're new to the channel, first off, let me say welcome. Thank you for joining us. And if you're enjoying our little vibe and want to join our little tribe, all you got to do is click that subscribe. And also, if you are new to the channel and you don't know about my kitten, join us on our Facebook group. Um, the link is down below. Eh, why is there red all over it? Okay, well, we're just going to go with the flow. Okay. So there's still a little bit left in here. So we'll put, scrape off the stick. And we'll put a little bit of press and seal, which is a blessing and a bane all at once. Okay. And then, oh, I've got my little flipper dipper. Let's move him over here. I just spilled it all over my hand. That's okay. Here's one. Try not to squeeze it and it's paper. <laughs> That's why I don't like using these in the studio so much, but I have like 4,000. Because I bought, they had them at Costco like eons ago. And they decided, well, I'll, I'll use them for soap making. And then I never just started making soaps. But once I figure out my life, <laughs> if I ever figure out my life, <laughs> um, then I'll start doing... I'll start doing soaps again, because I miss that. Continue with your ice dragon on Palooza. What do you think? I think that would be an amazing thing. I would love to see you work on that. I love. It's like watching the birth of a dragon, man. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Julia. Good to see you all here. Did I say hello to Julia? <laughs> I don't know. I'm... Kinda. Yeah, migraines are awful. And you know what's funny is I was feeling fine all day. I woke up, I, I drank my coffee, had my juice, ate my breakfast. I was feeling fine, but then I was doing my stretches and my neck popped. And like literally 30 seconds later, I had the beginning of a migraine. I'm like, nope, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just going to go lay down and make sure the curtains are closed and turn the volume down and the light brightness down on my TV and just veg out because I'm done. I'm toast. Okay, so there was no other metallics in this painting. So we'll see how this works, guys. All right, we're going to do the middle one first. Then we'll turn the canvas. Roar. Okay, so we're going to tip that up. Oops, I kind of went everywhere. That's all right. All right, we're going to squeeze these out, make sure we got paint everywhere. It's one thing I like about paper, you can fold the cups, man.
All right. Oops. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this and I'm going to wreck it. Actually, you know what? I got a better idea. Kind of makes it kind of go the way I want. And I might do one just like this. All right. Okay. <laughs> Good to the last drop, exactly. <laughs> Good to see you. All right. Cat is running amok. I'm going to tip it. Let's see if we can get this to come up this corner now without taking all that purple away. There we go. No, that looks orange, but really is supposed to be red. All right. I'm going to move it a little bit more this way. Shaken, cheese or peep. There we go. There. I like that composition a little bit better than before. All right, let me get my hands. curious to see how this dries because all that orangish color that you see is going to be transparent. So I just got a big blob of paint right on my shorts that probably went all the way through to my leg. Oh well. Just take another shower today. It's okay. Okay. Now that my hands are somewhat clean. My hands are really sparkly. Can you see the sparkle? <laughs> Okay, let's torture this little guy. Okay. All right, let's bring this up for you guys to see what 
it looks like wet. Okay, so there is what it looks like wet. We've got some really cool cells going on in this corner over here. It's an interesting kind of ribbon effect going on right there. There's a lot of things going on in this painting. Hopefully I don't drop it. I'm going to swipe my, my drippies off. Trying to hold it. Whoa. Put a little blue right there. There we go. Make sure we got the corners. I actually kind of like it with, by that orientation right there. All right, there we go. Yeah, let's leave it like that because I like it. That's how I like it. This is how we do it. <laughs> Sparkly mama tea, yep. Okay. So we're going to leave that right there. And, um, oh, I was going to show you. Oh, darn it. <laughs> now I'm all full of black paint. I'm going to show you the um, swipes that we did. The swipes of, what did we do this? I had it out. God dang it. <laughs> I had it all ready to go. And then I think I put it away because I was cleaning the studio because I'm trying to put some shelving up and everything was in my way. So, um, let me see if I can remember. Oh yeah, the Windsor Newton one, the one with the gold, the gold nuggets on it. Okay, see that? Hello, Pe Petra. I can talk today, really I can. <laughs> I just had too much coffee, so I'm talking really fast. And when I talk really fast, I can't enunciate my words. There we go. Let me go grab that real quick. Sure, my hands are somewhat dry. That's not it. Where'd it go? That's not it either. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. I had it out so I could show you guys. And then now I can't remember where I put it. I thought it was on the shelf here. Maybe it's up here. Oh, nope, that one's empty. And that one's for the other night. It's a bigger canvas too, y'all. <laughs> I don't know how I could lose it. Well, I lost my mind, so it is possible. Yep, here we go. See? <laughs> this was trying out the Windsor and Newton gloss medium. This guy right here as a pouring base, as a pouring medium. And um, here, let me move my light again. There we go. So we don't get as much glare. Um, it did turn out really cool because the the fingerlings or whatever are really wispy and I love that. And then I put a little bit of that 24 karat gold on the edge and it picked up the white and the gold. So they're like pearls that are pearly. So it turned out really cool, I think. See how the lines in there The, um, and there's not a lot of cells in here that are like from the paint itself. Most of these were um, freckles that just kind of developed into a, a shadow cell, I guess you'd say, because they're not really cells. So, yeah, and it turned out really cool. And I like what it did down here too, hang on. Sorry, I, be, I don't mean to wobble so much, but I'm trying not to get any paint on here, so I'm trying to hold it from the bottom. And my left hand decided it doesn't want to work anymore. But this is just like the coolest of the whole thing. I love this all right here. So I think we had success. I may alter it a little bit. Maybe do equal parts paint to 
that pouring it to that or less flow trowel or something so it's a little bit thicker. But that's from last week's, and I will post the link to that in the little information box up here. Um, join me tomorrow night um, for Tish Talk. And um, there's something else I was going to say, too. <laughs> uh, Wednesday night is Artapalooza. Tomorrow, Tish Talk is at 7.30. Doris is on at 6, I think. I think, I think. Yes, Starry Night, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. Um, so Tuesday night, 7.30 here at, for Tish Talk. Artapalooza is um, on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. These times are central time, so do your math accordingly. Um, Thursday morning, Coffee with Tish, we'll be doing some more beginner type stuff, learning type stuff. Friday night flip cup and Saturday night shenanigans both at 6 30 p.m. And I'll have Brooke on here for Friday night flip cup because you know you gotta have, you know, Friday night snort fest, I think is what was Johnny said that or somebody some one guy one of the guys said it. I just remember one of the guys saying it. So anyway, you're doing resin tomorrow at 6 p.m. Okie dokie artichokey. Um, I will have my whole week's worth of live set up here. Um, I just, I got to editing some stuff and next thing I know it was 2.30 and I'm like, dude, I don't even have anything set up. What am I going to do? I knew what I was going to do. I just needed to get it ready. And I need to go wash my hands before I go comb my kitten down. But um, look for that. Make sure to smash that like button. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it out there on the interwebs. That's how we're going to grow as a community is by sharing us with other people. So thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.